Let's get to work here. First things first, everybody. What is it that we're looking for? Let's be honest here. Start off by reading the question. What is it that we are looking for? So I see one person saying results of the mixture, the sodium resulting mixture, mixture, the sodium mixture. Any else? Anybody else? The sodium that the sodium of the resulting mixture. The mixture. Okay, so it seems that we have a general idea of where we need to look for that question. But it looks like we're having a little bit of trouble interpreting what that means. So everybody kindly look over to your left over there. Look at those answer choices. Um, what are all of those choices? What do all of those represent? What do they all represent? Yeah, Landa, exactly. All of those answer choices are percents. They are percents. So I want everybody to know that when a question says, hey, what is the sodium concentration? of the resulting mixture. The word concentration is a ratio or percentage in this case. So they're basically asking you, let me highlight the whole question for you. What they're asking you is this. They're asking us to find blank percent of the mixture is sodium. That's what they're asking you to find. The percent of that resulting mixture, that's sodium. Does that make a little more sense in terms of knowing what we're looking for? Because this is step one. And it, there are very, very, very few times, very few times where analyzing what the question's asking you to find is hard. Very few times that that actually happens. This could be one of those times if you didn't know to just look right here at the answer choices, my hand got cut off. But looking at those answer choices and looking at the word concentration and understanding that they're asking you to find the percent that's sodium of the total mixture, though, of the total mixture. That's really the most important part. And before we continue, one of the main frustrations that so many people have with the ASVAB is not knowing what to study and how to study to begin with. So if you're one of those people that can do a good job if everything's lined up for you, then go ahead and join our program. We have all the classes, all the recordings, all the courses with practice questions, with videos, and you can text me all the way up until you pass. So that's how it works. It's very simple, straightforward, and it gets you to the score and the job you want. Check out the link in the description of this video to learn more and sign up now. So here's what we wanna read, everybody. What we can read here is that you see that you have one solution here and the percent of sodium. Then you have a second solution and the percent of that, that's sodium. Everybody, does that make sense? Do we see that information there? We have solution one, 10% sodium. Solution two, 25% sodium. And we're looking for that total mixture, the percent in there. Do we see all of that formulating? Even though we don't know how to do it yet, do we see the pieces? Do we see the pieces? Maish? Yeah. Okay, so here's what we have next, my party people. What we're going to do next is set up that formula that I gave you. And it's not really a formula. It's just an understanding that we can agree upon. So here was that understanding from earlier. That understanding was this, that when you look at solution one, the percent times the original plus the percent times the original of the second solution, that's going to give you the mixture. That's going to give you the percent times the original of the mixture. Who remembers that from the previous couple of slides? Who remembers that? I want everybody who responds because, again, anybody here who says no, you might have been a little late. So I want to give you the chance to write that down. But that's what we're using. And remember, this makes sense. This makes sense because all this represents here, all that first part represents is going to be the sodium, the actual amount of sodium from the first one, plus the actual amount of sodium from the second one is going to give you the actual amount of sodium in them together. So this does truly make sense in terms of 
how the formula is set up. Now what we're going to apply is our knowledge of the information of the problem to find a specific piece of information. And that specific piece is right there. This is what we're looking for. Everybody, does that make sense? Do we understand that this is the piece that we are looking for? All right, cool. Let's do some math. Let's have some fun. Here we go. We have the first solution. Let me go ahead and use green for that one. And then I will use blue for the other one. So here we go. In green, we see that we have a 30 milliliter solution, and that's 10% sodium. So I'll write that down. We have 10% times the 30 milliliters. Then we are going to add this with, and I'll use blue for this next one. Notice how this second part here, it says it's mixed with an 80 milliliter solution. That is 25% sodium. So I'll write that down. 25% of an 80 milliliter solution. And that's supposed to equal, we're looking for this percent. So I'll just say X percent. But everybody, what number are we multiplying that by? Who knows? Who knows what number we're supposed to multiply by? Ah, it looks like a lot of people here are saying 110. Can you tell me why? Exactly, Sean. Excellent explanation. You didn't just say, hey, 30 plus 80. And no worries, uh, um, you don't worry about that. Um, it's the reason that we're looking for. And it's because this represents the total mixture. So it's going to be the total amount and the total original as well, that total uh, amount of solution that you're dealing with. And so this is going to be the 30, excuse me there, let me grab my pen, the 30 plus the 80. And that's going to be the 110 total milliliters that you're dealing with. Before I continue, are we good about how this was set up? Are we ready to calculate? And again, guys, at any point, I'm constantly looking at the chat. So if you have anything to say, please let me know. I got you. Um, but looks like we're good for now. Okay. So let's go ahead and get to work. Put on our hard hats. 10% times 30. Remember, everybody, some mental math there. 10%, that's a tenth of 100. So you're basically dividing by 10. What's 30 divided by 10 or 10% 10 of 30? What's that going to be? 3. So I'm skipping just a small mental math step, but I'm hoping that you appreciate where I'm coming from. 10% of 30 is 3 because 10% is a tenth of 100. Next up, everybody, what's the same as doing 25%? 25% is the same as dividing by what? That's right. If you know your mental math, it's dividing by four because remember, 25% is a quarter of 100. 25, 50, 75, 100. So that's a fourth of 100. So if you're multiplying by 25% or finding 25% of something, that's the same thing as looking for a fourth of that thing. What's a fourth of 80? That's going to be 20. Again, nice and clean and easy mental math that we can all appreciate. There we have that. And so then, lastly, well, nothing really to do. We just have the percent that we're looking for multiplied by that 110. So 20 plus 3, that's 23. Lastly, everybody, what must we do? Right. That's right on, spot on. We need to get that X by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 110. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely have already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. So to get rid of this, let me go and zoom in just a little bit here. We'll divide both sides by 110 and we're done. Let's go ahead and just cancel that out right there. Booyah. And so now we just have to figure out what 23 divided by 110 is. Notice how much easier it becomes once you know how to actually place what you're looking at. 
So now we can go over here, take that 110. Divide that into 23. And I'll put some zeros in there just in case. And let's move you down just a little bit. Let me make sure that we are going to have enough room. This is why I hate this update. I will move this over. Actually, let me give you guys a fair process here. Let me go ahead and add a page. There we go. And we will copy this. And we will do it here. Perfect. Let me zoom on in and we'll do it here. So let's go ahead and get it done. Everybody, 110 uh, goes into two zero times, 23 zero times. So we can just go ahead and put a zero there. Put the decimal place over where it was. Everybody, how many times does 110 go into 230? You guys were quick on that one. There you go. Yep, that's going to be a total of two times, which would be 220. So we subtract. That's going to be a one. That's going to be a zero. And then we will bring down that extra zero. Okay, everybody, how many times does 110 go into 100? That's a zero, okay. So then what we'll do is we'll bring another zero if we need to. But here's the thing, do we really need that? Do we really need that? What's the only one that starts with two zero? Yeah, right there. That's the only answer that starts with it. So you don't have to do that much math. You can just be done right there. You know that the answer is supposed to start with two, then zero, then another number. And we see that that's the only one that it could be. That's the only one that it could be. And so A has to be your answer. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see your related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.